Science has finally caught up with the Bible. We now have proof you are not a victim of your genes. You can alter your genes, your health, and your destiny supernaturally on this edition of It's Supernatural. Can ancient secrets of the supernatural be rediscovered? Do angels exist? Is there life after death? Are healing miracles real? Can you get supernatural help from another dimension? Has the future been written in advance? Sid Roth has spent 30 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid on this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I have been so looking forward to my guest. Why? Because I have been studying the promises of God for many, many years. And I believe them because they're God's word. But now science has just figured out the words of Jesus that they're true. Now, my guest, Dr. Caroline Leaf, has spent 25 years researching the brain. That's it. And that is, when you started researching the brain, they were really in the Stone Age as far as brain understanding, weren't they? They really were. There's been a dark ages in brain research for a long time. And it's only in the last 10 to 15 years that people are really starting to get an understanding of the brain. And the more we understand about the brain, the more we realize we don't understand about the brain. But, but when you told me that we could change our genes. I wish every doctor in the world would understand this cutting edge research because, you know, you go to a doctor and say your cholesterol is high and they say, well, exercise, change your diet, but it could be your genes and there's nothing you can do. So take this medicine that'll have a zillion side effects. Um, but you say, according to the latest brain research, if you follow what Jesus said, you can change your genes. That, that's just so amazing. I know, it is phenomenal. If you think of it, it's logical too, Sid, because we spirit soul body. And it's our soul area, which is the, literally the brain, the intellect, the will and the emotions that is processing and building all these thoughts into real things. So structural changes are happening in the brain and whatever's going on in the soul will affect the spirit and will affect the body. So if our mind is filled, our thoughts, our mind is all filled with chaos, it, chaos will reign in our bodies. So, you know, the, the scientists are finding now that 87 to 95 percent of current mental, physical, emotional illnesses come from our thought life. Well, I mean, well, that's, the, that's the... You know, Jesus put it very well. Yes. He said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So you're saying that these thoughts, as you say in your book, take up mental real estate, they're, they're real. It's not just a fleeting thing. No, it's, it's a real thing. You know, even in science, we call them the magic trees of the mind because the nerve cells in the brain look like trees. So your brain, which is the size of your two fists, this is a little bigger than a normal brain, is made up of all these nerve cells or neurons, and they look like trees. And I've got some props that I've brought along just to help us understand. Literally, we have these forests in our mind of all these trees that branch. And as you are listening to me now, you are, your brain is processing at 400 billion actions per second. And in doing that whoa, processing... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did, did you hear that? <laughs> if I heard her right, 400 billion actions per second? And someone wants to say it was a coincidence creation? I, exactly. I mean, I don't exactly. have enough faith to believe that it was a coincidence. No, exactly. That's, I agree with you. More faith is needed for that. Yeah. You know, that's, and that, that process in the unconscious mind is building memory as we're speaking. So every single thing that you hear, everything that comes into your brain through your five senses converts, we think about it, and then we make choices, and it converts into a structural thing in your brain, which is a thought, and they look like trees. And that's why the scientists refer to the forest or the magic trees of the mind, because that's what it looks like in your mind. Now, you have about 100 billion nerve cells in your brain. That's a lot of nerve cells. But each nerve 
nerve cell can grow up to 200,000 branches. So that means we have around 3 million years plus worth of space in our brain to build memories. Well, that's better than any computer I know of. Well, exactly. And that's just, that's just what they understand from our basic understanding of, of the brain. And it'd probably be more than that. But the point that I always like to make with people to emphasize is that because we can't see a thought out here, it's not like my hand, it, people tend to think that thoughts are harmless, but a thought is real. It occupies mental real estate. It looks like a tree. As you're listening to me now, you are causing the trees of your mind to change shape. You are growing branches as we are speaking. So every time we listen, think about things, it will result in choices that we make, which will result in thoughts or memories that we build. And that's what they look like. They look like trees. Okay, and it's this is green. And this is nice. I like to see yes. the green wherever I go, a golf course or trees. I mean, this is beautiful. So uh, I, w I want my brain on the inside to be beautiful. You want your brain on the inside to be beautiful. But show me what happens to a lot of people with toxic thoughts. Well, what happens is that this is the norm. This is mm -hmm. how we wired. You know, if you think of it, we made in God's image and he's wired for love and God is love. So therefore all our, the process that we go through to build thoughts is all wired in a positive direction, in a, in a healthy direction. But God gave us the choice of free will. So it says, I lay before you life and death. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live. But if you choose death, you and your descendants won't live. So if we choose life, good choices, we're going to build those trees. But Sid, if we, build, if we make bad choices, we build toxic trees. <laughs> I saw that in the lobby of the hotel this morning, and I was wondering, well, what is, what are you got, what is that? This, what is that? Well, this is just a visual image that I use to try and demonstrate the fact that we, when we think a bad thought, when we make bad choices, when we hang on to anything that is negative, anger, abuse, irritation, frustration, all the negative side of emotions, that's not just a harmless thing. It is a physical change that occurs in your brain. So we are designed and wired that every time we think we will build thoughts. And if we, as we are thinking, if we choose to think in a negative direction, we are still going to build thoughts. But because we are wired for love, which that's what the scientists say, that we are wired for love. That's what they found in the laboratories. Finally, Finally. <laughs> they're catching up with the Bible. Well, maybe is this why Jesus said, only say things that are good and pure yes. and lovely and of good report? Because if you don't, if you do the opposite, uh, this is the way your selves are going to look. Well, exactly. There's, there's a consequence. You know, God is very conditional. That the, you know, if you, he's a God of grace, but if you do this, then this will happen. So our bodies are designed and aligned like that. So if we're going to choose the negative, it's not the norm for the body, it's the hijack. So whenever we build the hijack into our body, it's a choice that we, that we make. God has given us that ability to choose. Okay, but, but I, I have a problem. I became a believer at age 30. And even after a believer, I did not have my mind renewed like, like I do today. Yes. And I have got close to 70 years of building uh, that. <laughs> what, what am I going to do about that? <laughs> well, here's the good news. These things, as God, as you know in the word, it says renewing of the mind, like you've just said, that's a lifelong process. So these, fortunately, we build these, but we can rewire them. And that's what I love about science. So we, we hear science is just a tangible way of showing the truth that, that God teaches you, us. You have a word, a word that you describe, neuroplasty? Neuroplasticity. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that your brain can change. These things can change. In fact, what I always say is that God made you an authority. You're a neuroplastician, Sid. I don't know if you realize that, but you're a neuroplastician. So am I. So is everyone. God designed us with the ability to change our own brains. Mm. So when he says renew our mind, he would give us the ability to do that. So scientifically, we found now that these ugly, toxic trees that we build through bad choices and physical realities occur can be rewired. And All right, you're going to show me how to rewire I'm, my brain. I'm going to start telling okay. you how to do and, that. And I want you to eavesdrop so you can rewire your brain. We'll be right back after this word. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Are you or someone you know battling emotional, mental, or physical disorders? Have you been waiting for years for your healing? Did you know that 87 to 95 percent of physical health issues are a direct result of your thought life? Dr. Carolyn Leaf from 25 years of scientific study will teach you how to break the cycle of toxic thinking, rewire your brain, renew your mind in just 21 days. Call now and receive her biblically based course including the hardback edition of her book and her six-part teaching series on three DVDs entitled Who Switched Off My 
brain. Yours for a donation of $50. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9074. It includes an easy to follow process using pictures and charts. You will learn that science has finally caught up with the teachings of Jesus. Understand how toxic thoughts can negatively change your brain and body. Learn how to change your genes and your future. Grasp five easy steps to live a life free of stress, worry, fear, and disease, and so much more. The course includes special questions to guide you through this life-changing course. Don't miss out on getting this easy to understand course, including a hardback edition of this book and this six-part teaching series on three DVDs entitled, Who Switched Off My Brain? Yours for a donation of $50. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9074. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9074 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Dr. Caroline Leaf. And isn't it amazing, Caroline, yes. that the scientists like yourself have now come up with the conclusion that our brain was originally wired for love. Not right. this is an example of a toxic brain that's toxic thoughts. Do you know every time I look at that, Caroline, I'm going to remember it. And I am going to watch what I say, what I think, and give no place to anything that's going to kill or steal or destroy. So we're wired for love. Tell me about well, it. Well, I just think it's incredible. And that's the scientist term, by the way. They say wired for mm. love. And they therefore say that we learn fear. And that's very significant Sid, because God tells us not to fear. And we know God is a God of love. So fear is the hijack. So that's a spiritual principle, two opposite spiritual forces. But in science, it's the same thing. As humans, we are wired for all the positive stuff. Therefore, we have like a, we have like a little chemical factory in our brain. In in order to grow these branches, we have all this input going into our brain, which is like electricity. Then the brain will secrete chemicals and you have this electrical chemical reaction. And when that happens, branches grow. And these branches are all holding the memory that's related and it's all grouped together in that tree. So that's a whole network related to one kind of thought. And then to build that, there are needed chemicals. So now we're wired for love, which means that we are, and that's not just the, the sort of love, love in terms of relationships. It's love in terms of happiness, joy, peace, passion, excitement, truth, um, all the wonderful stuff. We have chemicals that we secrete for each of those. So if I'm building a memory and it's a great, exciting thing, like now building a memory now as we talk right. about this, which we're both interested in, what will happen is that the brain would, excrete, would secrete um, excitement and passion chemicals. But now let's say, for example, something negative happens and we shift out of excitement into negativity, some kind of negative thing, lack of excitement, lack of passion, the opposite. The brain doesn't have a chemical for that. So it'll take the closest positive and secrete more and more and more and more and more, throw the brain out of disorder in order to try and find lack of excitement. And then it's, because it's got to have chemicals. So it takes too much of the good chemical still builds the tree, but now we have an electrical chemical imbalance in this area. So that's of the brain. why someone might get depressed. Exactly, exactly that. Because when we have an electrical chemical imbalance around this, this thing's ugly. It causes inflammation in the brain. So around this area... Well, what about when doctors test you for heart conditions and things and they say, well, you have too much inflammation. Does that start in the thoughts that go to the brain that then affect the body? Definitely, because spirit, soul, and body are linked. So the mind-body connection, it's very clear. And that's why doctors say 87 to 95% of illnesses, cardiovascular, immune system, all the different disorders that can happen, and all of us will manifest differently, are a direct are a result of your thought life. Because what happens is that your body will take this thought and your brain and will translate this thought into a physical reaction in your body and all of us will respond differently. Now, wherever there is hijack in the, in the body's order, because um, God is a God of order, the body fun functions on the principles of order and very, 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 very organized. So when order is thrown out, when electrical chemical balance is thrown out, the result will be inflammation. Inflammation causes the immune system to start sending out all kinds of cells to try and sort this out. And, and that so in I'm itself just thinking throws us like out. The, these alternative health doctors and medical doctors, they have medicine and they have alternative alternative things to treat inflammation, but that all that's doing is masking the symptoms. The cause is those thoughts. 
Well, it's a combination. It is. The cause is the thoughts. You know, you have to. There are some enlightened doctors that are saying, listen, you've got to deal with your thought life. There's research showing that medication doesn't even work that well unless you actually have your thought life under But wait control. a second. You said 95%. Is, is connected with that. Exactly. So forget the 5%. That 95 is it's what concerns enough. me. Now, yeah. we're wired for love, but most people are walking in fear. What happens Absolutely. when the body goes into fear or stress? Well, then what's happened there is in order to, that fear is a choice that we've made. So we, life is coming in at us. We're thinking, building thoughts, and those thoughts, oh, I'm scared, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious, I'm whatever, negative. And, and this, this incident happened, that, and it's built in, it's wired in. Whenever you think so, there there is a physical structural change in your brain. If it's in this negative direction, your body then, uh, this, this thought then, this state, is translated by your brain into a physical reaction in our body. That is stress. Okay, that you, is stress. Uh, you know, I, I have in my notes here that there are 1,400 chemical and physical responses when you go into fear and stress? Absolutely. What happens is 1,400? It's a lot. It's a lot. This, how, how, do we, how do we stop this? Well, let's, let's look at where I mean, why did Jesus first. keep saying, fear not, fear not, fear not? He knew he didn't want you to go on those 1,400 chemical and physical responses that go immediately throughout your brain and your, 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 your body. entire body. Your entire body. It throws your body into chemical chaos. You see, what you get is three stages of stress. Stage one is a normal stage. That's what you use when you are alert, focused, building memory. So it's a good positive thing. It's called eustress, E-U-S-T-R-E-S-S. -E -S -S. Those 1,400 chemical reactions and the 30 different hormones that flow then flow in order. So we have beautiful trees being built. We'll have a healthy green tree being built. But when we go into the fear side, the hijack happens, we make a bad choice, then the brain is trying to secrete and find that chemical, so it secretes the wrong amount, and we, so it throws the entire electrical chemical balance out. So those 1,400 chemical reactions move from being a positive thing into a negative thing, and we have chemical chaos. Okay, is there hope for me? I Absolutely. mean, I have spent, well, wait a second now. I got to where I am right now. It took me 70 hard years. You see the gray hair? It, it, it took me 70 years. How long would it take me to uh, get that green tree? I mean, I would like to walk. Uh, this is my passion, as a matter of fact. I want to walk in love. Uh, not just for me. I want to do it because that's what I'm created to do. You said I was wired for love. Absolutely. It's gonna take me 70 more years. I'll, I'll have to live longer than Moses. <laughs> How am I gonna rewire myself? Let me give you the good news, and this is the supernatural element. We can mess up for 70 years. It takes 21 days to rewire a tree. Okay, okay, I'm putting you days. on the clock. We'll be right back in a moment. <laughs> we'll be right back to It's Supernatural. It was God's purpose from the beginning for all nations to become one in Yeshua, Messiah Jesus. To break down the middle wall of separation between Jew and Gentile. When Jewish spiritual DNA merges with the new covenant Christian DNA, there will be what Paul called life from the dead. That's why Sid Roth's website is loaded with cutting edge articles and teaching about the one new man. Log on to SidRoth.org today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Dr. Caroline Leaf, and she is a neuroscientist that has researched the brain for 25 years, cutting edge research. And she has found that no matter how old you are, if you're as old as I am, 70, or if you're 20 years old, that's a lot of years that you have uh, wired yourself like this. And wouldn't it be neat if in 21 days, and it's, it, it, it's, listen, it's going to affect your physical health. It's going to affect your relationships with people. It's going to affect your emotional health. It's going to affect you fulfilling your destiny of why God put you on this earth. So tell me, 
You said there's hope for me. Oh. Tell me what I should do. <laughs> there's hope for all of us. It's so, so good. Well, let me start by explaining that we, you mentioned, um, you asked me earlier on, and one of the things that you loved about this was the fact that we can change our genetic expression, literally. So now when we rewire, what we have to do is we have to change the way in which our genes are expressing themselves. Now, all that that means is that our genes make proteins. Proteins are the building blocks that build our thoughts. So what they have found is that over and above the gene, there's the epi epigenome and the epigenome is over and above the gene and that simply is our thoughts. Our thoughts are this electrical flow. These thoughts are real things and they generate this electrical flow right to the to the gene level. So, so, so would you say that our thoughts can activate the good or the bad genes? Exactly. That's exactly okay. what I'm saying. So this is, I mean, this is incredibly powerful because this is what it says in the, in, in the Bible. That's what God is saying, is that what, as, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So so is he. If this is what's dominating my thinking. That's who I'm going to become. So I have to rewire this. I have to have more building blocks. I have to melt this down and I have to rebuild this. So I have to use my thoughts to change. So this is a negative thought, like maybe someone had alcoholism in their family or depression or some negative abuse thing that happened to them. This doesn't have to be um, something that you can keep. This is something that you can rewire. And scientifically what happens is that these your, your, your non-conscious mind is filled with billions of thoughts. And I'm going to hide this for a moment. So in your non-conscious mind we've got all these billions and billions and billions of trees, forests. At any one time you'll have a mixture of black and green trees. Hopefully more green than black. But the black we want to get rid of. So then what happens is as we are, go through life prompting happens and this moves into the conscious mind. When it moves into the the conscious mind, it then becomes, I'm going to shake it, malleable, plastic changeable hmm. and we can now use our own ability that God has designed to change this tree that's why it's called neuroplasticity but it's directed by our thought life at the front of your brain you have what we call the frontal lobe your frontal lobe enables you to stand outside of yourself and look at these things and may and observe your talking your thinking your life you can observe everything God's built that into us which is quite phenomenal now we use that ability to stand back and say hey this is a bad thought this is how I'm feeling this is what my body feels like I'm actually probably have this or this kind of ache or pain or whatever it may be because of these things the fact that it's moved into consciousness God wants us to do something with it so he's created and designed our brain in such a way that it's very malleable if we say I can't that is a decision it will become more toxic move back into the non-conscious inflaming and throwing our body into st stage two and three of stress. So even if we're not thinking about it it's there it's and there. It's, it's working against it's us. It's working against us it's throwing your body into stage two and eventually stage three of stress which is called the death cycle. So when it's out here I have a chance to get rid of it. So what I need to do is I need chemicals to flow around this tree that will melt it down. Now within 24 to 48 hours of this popping out I can make a decision with my frontal lobe of my brain the front part of my brain to say hey this is not good for me and I'm going to believe that God is who he says he is if we take Mark 11:22, it talks about have faith in God when we build our faith in who God is that he is who he says he is that we recognize who we are in God what it means to have a God who's the creator whatever it is that you build your faith as you do that you get excited I mean you said to me if you read the Bible when you go to bed you can't sleep at night because you get so excited right now when you get that excitement rush and that is evidence for you that you've got a lot of what we call dopamine, a neurotransmitter that flows around this thing and starts melting this tree down. Then God says in 20, verse 23, talk, he talks about speak to the mountain. This is the mountain. So now we speak the word of God at this mountain. The word of God is living and alive. So as we speak the word of God from what we've read from the scriptures, we speak literally, if I may, the green tree, the healthy word of God at this mountain. So we pull on scriptures we know, things that we're reading, whatever it is, and we speak to this mountain covering the neck. As we do that, more chemicals flow, oxytocin, serotonin, and the combination of those three plus a few more literally said melt this thing down. And then we can rebuild next to it the healthy green tree. So the point this may be an abuse. We can get rid of this, get rid of its pain, because those chemicals carry the physical feeling of pain. The branches carry the actual so, but description. You, you're saying I can go from this to this, to this in 21 days? In 21 days. days. I melt this down, and I start building this parallel to this thing melting mm. down. You cannot have them in the same, you cannot have a black and a green tree in the same tree at the same time. There's a scripture in 1 John 4:18: perfect love expels fear. 
Perfect love expels fear. That's literally what is happening on a scientific level. And it takes 21 days. Uh, you know what she does? Uh, she works with young people that had brain injuries uh, that doctors have given up on explaining the word of God based on science. And tell me one young person and what happened to their life that you worked well, with. You, you'll be happy to know that I've worked with young and I've worked with the old and I've got to tell you this quickly. So there was one gentleman of 78 who was a pilot and he wanted to go, he, his eyes weren't good enough, he couldn't fly anymore. So he wanted to go back and do his second career, which was to become a CPA. So I taught him how to use his mind, use his brain, learn, get rid of the toxic trees. And he went and he completed that and he, at 84 and he practiced for another nearly 19 years after. So that's really an amazing story. So at any age, from whatever age you can change your brain. A young man I worked with had huge holes in his brain from a really, really bad traumatic brain injury. He was, when I started working with him, it was about three, four years after his accident. Now, according to the old brain research, if you work with someone after 14 months, there's not much more spontaneous recovery that can happen. They kind of hit a ceiling. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was in the early days of my research when I was doing neuroplastic research with traumatic brain injury, I worked with this young man for three months. This young man made a decision. I have to stress this. He made the decision to apply the principles of neuroplasticity. He took this into his life. When I started working with him, he was coping. He was 24 years of age and he was coping at around about a sixth, eighth grade level. Within three short months, that young man, not only did he change, he went on to complete his schooling, went on to get four degrees, and he's currently one of our top motivational speakers in South Africa. Uh, you know, that's just one one, one one more quick thing you told me. You know, what most people, what Hollywood tells you, as you get older, your mind slows down and you don't remember things. And you said the opposite is true from using the Word of God. Absolutely. When you study, when you spend time with God, when you study the Word of God, when you study the Bible, when you get the Word in your, of God in your mind, when you pray, when you praise and when you worship, your brain, they've actually seen in the laboratories that this external part of your brain thickens. So you in effect, you, you should be getting smarter. That's what, that's what it's I'll means. tell you what, I love the Word of God and I love way science is proving the Word of God, don't you? <laughs> Are you or someone you know battling emotional, mental, or physical disorders? Have you been waiting for years for your healing? Did you know that 87 to 95 percent of physical health issues are a direct result of your thought life? Dr. Carolyn Leaf from 25 years of scientific study will teach you how to break the cycle of toxic thinking, rewire your brain, renew your mind in just 21 days. Call now and receive her biblically based course including the hardback edition of her book and her six part teaching series on three DVDs entitled Who Switched Off My brain. Yours for a donation of $50. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9074. It includes an easy to follow process using pictures and charts. You will learn that science has finally caught up with the teachings of Jesus. Understand how toxic thoughts can negatively change your brain and body. Learn how to change your genes and your future. Grasp five easy steps to live a life free of stress, worry, fear, and disease, and so much more. The course includes special questions to guide you through this life-changing course. Don't miss out on getting this easy to understand course including a hardback edition of this book and this six part teaching series on three DVDs entitled Who Switched Off My Brain? Yours for a donation of $50. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9074. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918 Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9074 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my guests have learned how to capture the heart of God through worship. As people join them, they hear angels singing and actually hear supernatural instruments.